Okay, shark on wire two. We found this packet capture, recover the flag that was pilfered from the network. You can find it there also. All right, so let's go ahead and open this in Wireshark. All right, let's see. So last time we were able to follow like a TCP stream right, or one of these UDP streams. Oh, that's sort of interesting. Pico, not a flag. Kind of looks like a flag, but isn't. Pico CTF sure is fun. I do really want to find some Pico CTF flags. Start. That's interesting. Start of what? A's. A's, A's, A's. Or A's. B's. End. Start and end of what? Well, there are a lot of interesting packets coming from this 10.0.0.66. So let's say ip.adder equals 10.0.0.66. And then I type run there. Okay. So these. So you have lots of different port numbers. There's the start. Hmm. Maybe if we look at the last three digits of the port number, because everything else looks sort of boring the same. So let's see. Add a small to ASCII. Alright, so we had 112, 105, 99. 112, 105, 99. Oh, this is looking good. And there's a PIC. Uh, 111, 67, 84. 11, 67, 84. Oh, I do like where this is going. Let's see if I can maybe. Okay, so 84. Seventy, one twenty-three, one one twelve, forty-nine, seventy-six, seventy-six, one two, fifty-one, one fourteen, fifty-one, hundred, ninety-five, one hundred ninety-seven, one sixteen, ninety-seven. Pilfer data. That's cute. 95, 118, 49. All right, so let's see if I make sure I'm just getting this right. Oh, I lost my place. 112. So 118, 49. So we were at pack 1199. So 1199 up to the top. There's 1199. All right, so we're here. 
So 97, 95, 115, 116, 51, 103. Tell for data via Stego. Okay, it's going to be Stego. 48, 125. Oh, brilliant. All right, pull for data via Stego. And there we have it. 